So earlier you saw how we took a quiz that allows multiple attempts and we could go in and take that again because we have multiple tr attempts allowed so we'll look at that quickly and you see our earlier attempt and we could go ahead and reattempt the quiz it says you have four and you're about to start another one and again we've typed in a password and now notice now that the questions are scrambled from before in this case there's, there were only four to begin with so it doesn't matter but your instructor may choose to shift around the questions and even sometimes the answers so I'll put in Australia where it originates the M stands for Martin that's false and what is Moodle and let's just go ahead and we'll put it to pasta now if I hit save without submitting you'll see uh, it basically just saves the answers but it hasn't turned it in so that would be if you were, were you had to step away from your computer for a minute go grab a cof coffee now sometimes quizzes are, are timed so you want to be careful about that in this case there's no time set on this one I'll go ahead and submit all and finish it warns me I submit it and now you see I have two attempts this gives me the review of my second attempt and there's a finish review button at the top at the bottom go ahead and do that and notice now um, it gives my two grades and it averages them out so I've got 11.1 on one and 10 on the other out of 20 so my average is 10.6 out of 20 and then I've got the overall feedback so that's that one quiz let's go back to the other quiz and as always at the breadcrumb trail I can go right to all the quizzes and see them there this whole course only has two but let's go to sample quiz B and it tells us this quiz uses adaptive mode with each question on its own page with only one attempt allowed. So let's see how adaptive behaves. Again, some instructors don't use this, but you'll, this will expose you to the different types of choices. I attempt quiz now. Notice there's no password. We still get the warning. You're about to take this quiz and you'll get, only get one try. Often when I give a final, I do it this way. And it's important that students read the note because if you start it and then you change your mind, it's too late. So we hit OK and now we have uh, the same questions in fact I have built a test out of that and we'll just pick a couple like the best way to know where you are in Moodle is the navigation bar things you need to look at and review are called let's put activities it's actually resources so we know it's wrong um, things you need to do which can be graded are also activities best way to ask question about a class discussion forum and now we're gonna hit submit page that submits this page but not the whole exam and notice it says partially correct mark for the submission 0.3 out of 1 and it attached a penalty so what it's actually doing is it's grading what we've done so far and giving us the chance to improve it again some teachers will use this as a way of kind of teaching you the material it's called an adaptive testing others won't but let's just show you how that changes. I fix this one, so instead of activities, things you need to look at and review are called resources. So I've improved a little bit. So now I submit the page, and we get results. And now we have 0.4 over 1. In other words, we're improving. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page. Um, actually, I just hit next down here. In this case, there are four pages, or I can hit number 2. So that takes me to the next page and I'll say Moodle is a pasta and I'll submit this page it says nope it's not and I've got a penalty so I'll click it's a learning management system a content management system and a course management system I'll uncheck pasta I'll submit there and now again it's telling me that's wrong I've got marks I'll uncheck that submit it again and now I'm all correct I'll go to the next page where did Moodle originate? I type Australia, but I misspell it. And I'll submit that. And it says you're wrong. And then I correct the spelling. And submit it. And now it's correct. I'm tired of this test. I submit all and finish. It says you sure you want to submit all and finish? And now I've got my scores. And it tells me how I did on everything. I finished the review. I cannot take it anymore. It tells me my overall marks and I've got 10.7 out of 20. So obviously you can see I could have done a little bit better if I had taken some more time. But the adaptive mode is interesting as there are a lot of different ways your instructor can set it up.